get demonetized. I was jamming out to some T Swift while I was getting ready. What album is that? Folklore. I know she came out with two, Folklore and something else. The second one, Willow, I think. Both fantastic. And a song came on yesterday and I thought, oh my gosh, this just reminds me of 2020 and in the best way possible. So I threw on the whole soundtrack while I was getting ready and it is supreme. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. How are you doing? I didn't make a list of things I have to do today, but I have it in here, okay? I went to Once Upon a Child the other day to get some things for Meredith. She is obviously growing like a weed, but more than that, she refuses to wear anything other than a princess dress. So that was my mission to get her some princess dresses. I think I succeeded, so I'll show you what I got her. And I also need to go through her wardrobe and declutter a bunch of stuff that she doesn't fit slash doesn't wear. I'm also gonna bring you around the house today. I have some things to tidy up. All of the kids have friends over. It is summertime and that's what it's all about. Alex and I would much rather have a bunch of kids hanging out over here, making a mess, making a bunch of noise, rather than our kids being somewhere else because, uh, you know, we can keep an eye on them and see what they're up to and make sure that they're having a good time. Are we controlling or just helicopter parents? It's hard to tell. But they're all having a good time right now, which is nice. So I'm gonna take advantage. They're outside right now, so I'm gonna take advantage and maybe like start tagging. Oh my gosh, guess what, I got a rug. For upstairs, oh, that's a whole story. Upstairs rug, we had a rug, it's like out on the balcony. And every time Alex would walk outside, just downstairs, he'd say, gosh, what is that smell? And I said, I don't smell anything. So he figured it out what it was. It was the rug upstairs. <laughs> I guess it was like wafting down. I don't know. Apparently it was like super moldy and nasty. It was from the previous owners. It looked nice on the top. <laughs> and I don't go out there much, so I don't know. And anyway, so we had to get rid of that. It was a nice rug at one point in its lifetime, but it was beyond the point of cleaning and repair. So I got a new one. I actually got it on sale and it was a decent price. I got it from Home Goods a while ago. So I think I'm gonna roll that out today. I don't know if it's gonna fit or if it's gonna look good because, well, we'll talk about it when we get there. Let's head to Meredith's room first and start getting stuff done because let's, why not? What else are you here for? Oh, and I'm hoping to get an Amazon package today. I don't know what's in those. <laughs> they actually came yesterday and instead of opening them, do you guys do this? I looked on the app to see what was delivered and I said, oh, that's not for me. <laughs> I just left them there. Clearly it's nothing important. I actually think they're um, elbow pads and knee pads for Wentworth because he is really into skateboarding lately and the elbow pads and knee pads that we have are for like a two year old. So they don't really fit him. So Alex got him some pads that are much better quality because he has fallen off the skateboard. He's so rough, man. I don't, he's doing a good job on that skateboard though. It's surprising me. I figured I'd show you around my house real quick. Well, just like the common area, the places I need to tidy. Oh my gosh, and I wanna share dinner with you. I'm real excited about dinner. I'm always excited about dinner. Did I tell you we were gonna get started? Well, have we met? You guys know I always feel like I have my life together when I have dinner plans. Um, barbecue, chicken thighs, and cornbread and then a vegetable, I don't know what, but we'll figure it out. But those are the two recipes I'm excited about, so of course I'm gonna share those with you, hopefully. <laughs> but Miss Meredith woke up at the crack of dawn and more than waking up at the crack of dawn, she went to bed right before the crack of dawn. <laughs> so I barely slept last night. She's had a long nap this afternoon, which is nice, she needed it. Uh, but that's mom life. It's not like I, you can't sleep when the baby sleeps when you had a hundred other kids, but it's fine. I'm sure I'll sleep tonight, maybe, probably not. <laughs> anyway, she woke up this morning and I was uh, not having it. So I just let her make a dang mess out here. Typically I keep a bunch of toys here. I don't, I actually, a bunch of kids have been playing upstairs. I'm not even gonna go up there, I don't think. <laughs> That's the joy of uh, having it up and out of sight that, you know, if it's a mess up there, that's what it's meant for, right? It's a playroom and they can deal with it. This I need to tend to. I shared with you our dishwasher 
is in need of a repair. It was not installed correctly, so that's great. I have, oh, there's always dishes to be done. Other than that, I think we're sitting pretty. Hey, did you notice I moved that? Doesn't it look so good there? It was in the bathroom, tucked away, never to be seen by anyone except for whoever went to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom one day and saw it in there, and I said, I like this, and I, would, I want to see it more often. <laughs> so I moved it out there. Okay, Meredith's room. Ugh. Don't ask me where her pillow is, and also, what is this? Oh, okay, <laughs> I did buy this. I thought it was Christmas. I was like, was Alex in here decluttering and he thought this bag was donate? Uh, I, this is clearly not for Meredith, it's for Eleanor. I found, it was $3. Man, I love Once Upon a Child. It's a consignment store for babies and kids. I say consignment, it's a consignment, but also a thrift store. It's fantastic, it's where we get I don't know, 95% of our clothes for our kids. I save so much money that way because kids grow out of clothes like that, you know? Plus, you guys know I love thrifting. Okay, how am I gonna, I guess I'll lay it all out. But also, I recently took Eleanor to, where's her pillow, did I just ask that? I don't know, man. I took Eleanor to Target because Once Upon a Child just didn't have any bathing suits in her size this year. I don't know if we got in too late or I, we missed it, I don't know. Eleanor is in need of a new bathing suit, so I took her to Target and thankfully they had some bathing suits still in her size. So I picked up a couple for her and I found one for Meredith at Once Upon a Child. So cute, oh my gosh. I typically get like the rash guards long sleeve because it just keeps the sun off of them. Anyway, I don't know where I was going with that. I like to overshare. <laughs> I'm gonna lay all this crap out and then I'll show everything to you. Okay, so here are some of the things. I also got her a bunch of jammies, like princess jammies. So uh, as, as soon as I show you all of this, then I'll throw the jammies up here. There's also one thing behind the door <laughs> because I got it for her. Don't let me forget to show you that yesterday I was showing her and she was not having it. She was just tired, so she was like trying to hide it behind the door. I was like, okay, I can't see it anymore. Anyway, I grabbed these three dresses for Eleanor. I didn't buy anything for Avelina. She needs to pick out her own clothes, otherwise, <laughs> I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue, listen. <laughs> Gotta love that preteen stage. And then Wentworth, I got him a bunch of stuff from Goodwill like a few weeks ago, so he's ready to go. Anyway, these are, this, that's a bathing suit cover up. Isn't that cutesy? And then this dress just screams summertime with the seashells on it, so I thought that was fun. And I'll show you Meredith's wardrobe here. She doesn't wear, I don't know, 90% of what's hanging. And then none of this makes sense down here. I think I have her cloth diapers here. Yep, that's cool. And that's supposed to go in here, but I don't know. I think she was playing and took it out. Okay, so let's start up here. This was the bathing suit that I showed you. It has Rapunzel on it, and she likes Rapunzel, okay? I got her this really lightweight dress. I think it's from Old Navy. It was $2.50, which is so awesome. And then this one I thought was so sweet, and it's patriotic, but she could wear it, obviously, any freaking day that she pleases. This one is a gap dress, and again, it's just lightweight spaghetti strap. This is the same kind of thing. I almost didn't get this one, um, but then <laughs> clearly I did. This is a cute little two-piece outfit with the lemons. I thought it was frilly, so she might like that. Another two-piece outfit up here. This one was just so sweet, so even though it doesn't, it's not princessy, I don't know, we'll see. This one has frillies on it, so I thought she would like that. This whole ensemble was $4.50. It's just insane. And then I got her a rainbow skirt. I thought, well, maybe she'll like this and a little purple top. And this was the ultimate, and it was in like the dress up section. It was $2.50, and I think this is gonna be her favorite dress. And then I got her a plethora of jammies. She, we recently got into Trolls. Did you know that they took it off of Netflix? What, where can I watch it? Nowhere, I have to rent it. <laughs> I'm not doing that. So we've been watching the holiday one. Anyway, this one I just thought was so cute. Initially she loved it and then I tried to put it on her and she was not having it. I got some more frozen jammies for her because she literally will wear her frozen jammies like a hundred days in a row if I would let her. And then of course more Elsa jammies. Um, this one is more summertime appropriate. 
She loved this one. Remember we saw that dress at Target? It was $25. What? At Once Upon a Child, this was $3. It's just incredible. Same kind of thing. Little nighty. And then Paw Patrol. She likes, uh, whatever this person's name is. Also, that's not a person, it's a dog. <laughs> I'm gonna get started on putting these things away, but I should also show you, I think right when we moved in, I started a pile of like donate pile for clothes that she grew out of and it's still sitting there. <laughs> it's been months. So that will uh, hopefully go all together in whatever we're donating today so it can clear out her room a little bit. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so oh, you're looking so oh. Now I'm moving closer to you. And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Just say the word and we can leave this place Take you anywhere you want As long as we're together Everything we'll do You got me going all You got me going all Now I'm moving closer to you And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you want to do Baby, let me love All done. Her drawer is looking nice and fresh. Her drawer is looking nice and fresh. Over here, the wardrobe is finished. I just took, I had like baby blankets and swaddles and stuff, so I took that out, put it in my closet, you know, with baby things. It's basically all I have. And then I went through her clothes. This is like the holiday section. So I can, I have a tote in my closet for like Christmas stuff and holiday stuff, so that can go in there. And then this is some of the donate pile. Let me add the rest to it. Okay, that's the rest. Here's all the donate, which feels really good to get out of here. And that's the rug that I got. We, I guess I have to go upstairs anyway. <laughs> but before I do, um, I'm gonna tidy this section up. I seriously can barely believe that it is summer. It's like summer vacation. I feel like I'm still in like a long weekend mode. 
Which kind of makes sense because obviously it's only been summer for a very short amount of time. What are you guys doing for summer? Are you doing anything fun? I hope so. I feel like we have a lot planned in June and absolutely nothing in July or August, really. <laughs> but I'm actually looking forward to that. I like the lull of summers and, you know, not having to do something all the time. I mean, pros and cons, you know what I mean? I like to keep my kids busy and make memories, but also it can get exhausting. Look at that. My living room is clean and it took just a couple of minutes to do it. Thankfully, I have these drawers and I just put all the toys in there. Sometimes Meredith puts them in. But sometimes I do it. It's fine. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this summer sampler. It is mm, almost as good as a chocolate assortment. Is that what it's called? A sampler when it's like full of chocolate? This is better because it's candles. I actually took it out and I grabbed... Um, what was that? Watermelon Fresco. Delicious. I mean, you guys know my infinite love for DW candles. They're affordable and they're quality candles. The smell wafts through the air and they, they, have, a, they have a million scents and they all smell incredible. I don't know how they do it. More than that, hashtag non-spons, <laughs> but they have like crazy scents too. And so they like to make, they like to keep things fun, also make things fun. But anyway, I, I opened up that sampler and really just smelling the candles brought me so much joy. Like I didn't even really need to light one, but I thought like, why not? <laughs> First up, I'm the type of person who like saves like when I was younger and I had an Easter basket full of candy, I would save it and savor it. But it's like, why? Like, you know, use your things while you have them, while you can use them, while you're still here to use them. You know, take advantage of your nice things. It's something I have to remind myself. That's why I'm saying it out loud. Okay, so clearly I've moved on to the kitchen. And I contemplated sharing me cleaning out my kitchen with you because I know you guys have seen me do it, I don't know, 700 billion times at this point. But I decided to keep it in to because it's like normal, average, mundane, everyday tasks. And that's what I like to share with you, you know, just the boring old stuff, because I know that's the quality content that you come for. <laughs> no, but really, you know, this is stuff that needs to be done every day. And um, this is like an everyday mess. It's not like, oh, this is a week's worth. No, man. Sometimes I have to clean my kitchen multiple times a day. Not sometimes, every day. <laughs> I have to clean it multiple times a day. If we're eating, uh, we are, you know, using dishes and needing to clean dishes. So, yeah, I hope this just gives you the motivation to get up, take 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and just tidy up your kitchen too. Because that's life. Ordinary, average, mundane, everyday life. Um, anyway, <laughs> so... It got me thinking. The reason why I, we always have so many dishes is because we're always cooking. Uh, and actually, I am meal planning for the next week. And really, when I meal plan, I do way more than a week's worth of meals at a time. Mostly because I just get so excited and I see all the meals. And this, uh, I'm going to this week, whatever, the meals that I'm planning are summertime meals. And those just get me so excited. And I don't know why. They're just like fresh and there's just something about them. The ease of like marinades and grilling. Do you guys grill or like cook out or whatever? Even if you do it on your GFG, like man, that thing is tried and true. Georgia Foreman grill never let me down, you know? So, and, and you know what? You can throw, even if it's a marinade for the grill, you can throw that crap in the oven too. I'm just saying. Anyway, I'm really excited for the recipes. Maybe I'll do a uh, future what's for dinner video with the summer recipes that I'm finding because they are top notch man at least they look like it and I know Pinterest makes everything look better <laughs> although I have made some recipes from Pinterest that have been a complete flop but I don't share them mostly and we don't talk and about I'm them. done with the kitchen and it just started raining I'm gonna show you I love when it rains it's like almost a thunderstorm I think Alex was just about to bring the kids to soccer and I said I don't think you're gonna have to leave because it's about to storm Look, it's it is raining you see all of that you want to go outside yeah 
All right, we can go outside for a second. Isn't this cool? You can't really see it on this side. Hey, at least my zucchini's getting watered. <laughs> and by watered, I mean drown. It's drowning. <laughs> oh no, that's why it's dying. It's my fault. I didn't replant it. Meredith wanted to play in muddy puddles outside, so she got wet. You wanna show me your dress? Yeah. What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, it is snacking hour over here. I just pulled some fruit out of the fridge. Mango, cherries, pineapple. Iffy, okay? Iffy. Um, I'm gonna cut a peach just for me. I feel like if you cut peaches, they just go bad. And then some bell peppers. I made ranch dressing and it's so good as a veggie dip. So I'm gonna cut these up uh, and then whatever the kids wanna eat as soon as I cut it up, that'll be good for them. Me again. <laughs> Nothing says summertime quite like pineapple, am I right? Actually, watermelon really does. Is watermelon a tropical fruit? I don't really know. I'm gonna have to Google that. I know pineapple is. Mango is, I cut up some mango. Cherries are also in season, hallelujah. Cherries are so stinking good. And I grabbed some Rainer cherries. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Anyway, I don't always use this uh, pineapple slicer thing because I find that when I cut pineapples on my own, like with a knife, old school, I yield more fruit. However, this particular pineapple was tall and skinny, so I thought it was the perfect opportunity. And it is like easier, it's faster, it's more convenient and all that good stuff. And probably easier, it's just easier cleanup, which is fine. Uh, so I used it and got some pineapple. Now I'm doing the cherries. Oh my gosh, that's what I wanted to show. I filmed this, all of my voiceovers previously, and then they all got <laughs> deleted somehow. So I don't know what I said the first time around. But well, I do remember this point I tried to make. Um, I found, I, well, I didn't find it. Someone sent it to, well, first of all, the cherry pitter, okay, let me get my thoughts in order. The cherry pitter that I'm using, you can do six at a time. Isn't that a dream? I used to have the like single shooter, lost it into the abyss. I literally have no idea where it is. And then someone sent me this one that does six at a time, which is magic. And then someone showed me, shared with me a video on Instagram where you could dump like the entire container in. It's like a box, right? And you dump the entire container of cherries in there. Do you have to stem them? I assume you still have to stem them, right? And then you just, it's like a punch, like pop, 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 pop. And it just pits them. And you don't have to place them anywhere. It just goes. And I was reading the reviews. Okay, it is a little bit more expensive than that one. I want to say the one I have that does six at a time is probably around $10. The one that like pops them out, pop, pop, is around 25, I wanna say. It could have been on sale, so maybe 25 to $30. I don't really remember. Somewhere around there. And um, have you seen it? I was reading the reviews, and of course some of them were saying, oh, it doesn't get all of them, but guess what? The five or six at a time doesn't get all of them. Guess what? The single shooter doesn't always get them. You know, human error, it's a machine, it's not perfect, and uh, neither am I, and I appreciate that in a machine. <laughs> Anyway, I didn't wanna buy it because of the price, but if you guys have seen it and are interested, I'll buy it and I'll test it out for us and I'll see how it is. And I'll give you, know, I'll give you the honest truth. So that's all the food that I prepped. I always love sharing fresh fruit and vegetables when like kids are over. Oh, and that's the ranch dip I made in my memorial cook with me. Oh, it is delicious. Uh, yeah, I'm actually making a Target list right now. I have to run to Target. Do you need anything? Is there anything that you need me to pick up for you <laughs> and add to my list? <laughs> Man, that fruit looks so good. And those peaches, top notch. Okay, here's the rug that I bought. I was going to buy a different one. <laughs> I found a few that I liked. And, oh, someone's on the lake. Oh my gosh, they're skiing. I should show you. All right, here they come back around. Isn't that the coolest? Anyway, so at Home Goods, I saw a bunch of different rugs, and first of all, I saw a really colorful one that I thought, yeah, I think I should do that. And then I thought, well, it might be a pain in the butt to clean. Also, it was twice as much as this one, so I talked myself out of it. 
Um, I found another one that I really liked, but it was way too big. I'm actually not, I think this one will fit. It's a five by seven. Now that I'm out here, I think it'll fit. And then I saw a bunch of neutral ones, which I almost got because can't go wrong with neutral. And then I thought, well, Kim, just go crazy and get a green one. The picture makes it look kind of blue, but uh, it's definitely green, so I'm gonna roll this out. I almost bought one that was damaged because I knew, oh, I can ask for a discount, but typically they only give you like a very small discount anyway, and I thought, eh, it's not worth it. And this one was on sale, so you know how that goes. I think I need scissors. I don't have scissors. Too lazy to go downstairs, but I did find a plug. I'm gonna MacGyver my way out of here. Ow! I'm not very good at decorating, but I feel like uh, we'll be fine. You know what else I saw at Home Goods? A nice, like, little patio set too. It was four hundred dollars, so I passed on it. And then I found others that were like eight hundred dollars, and I was like, "Ugh, are they joking?" There's two tables and a little chair. I think this is fine for now. Here's the final reveal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Spectacular. There's the rug. It's okay. <laughs> I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm impartial. It's good enough, you know? But now that I'm looking at this table, it's like seen its day. It's probably 11 years old and completely weathered. I got it secondhand for like 20 bucks. <laughs> oh, the bottoms are horrific, but you know what? It does its job as a table. By the way, the playroom has exploded, but that's fine. That's summertime. They'll be cleaning that later. <laughs> um, let's start on dinner. Okay, first up, I'm gonna throw together some cornbread. This is everything that you're gonna need. I'm doubling the recipe, so I'm making a nine by 13 dish because we have five extra kits here. So you need cornmeal, flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, salt, oil, honey, buttermilk, and some eggs, let's do it. Okay, five hours later, I'm starting the cornbread. I melted one cup of butter, so two sticks. I'm going to add half a cup of oil. Seven hours later, two cups of sugar. I know it seems excessive, uh, mostly because it is. Okay, cornbread is southern. Do you expect anything less? This is what makes it delicious. Oh, but we're not done with the sweetness. I'm going to add two thirds cup of honey to this and it slides right out because we added the oil first and then I'm just going to give this a mix. I've never tried this recipe before but it looks really promising, don't you think? Two cups of sugar? I mean, come on. Then add four eggs. Yeah, I saw that too. That's why I don't have a Food Network show, okay? Redemption. Once the eggs are all mixed in and incorporated, I'm going to add two and a half cups of buttermilk. And I only have buttermilk because I bought it for a recipe for this past weekend. Oh, I don't have enough, but I have enough. You know what I mean? Like it's good enough. I'll just substitute something else. Almond milk. Great, and then just incorporate all of that. And of course the recipe says to mix in like your dry ingredients all separately and then mix it in, but why are we dirtying two bowls? Do you know what I mean? Here come the dry ingredients. I'm adding two cups of flour. This is gluten-free flour. I'm making this gluten-free. And then one and a half cups of cornmeal. About a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of baking powder. And one teaspoon of baking soda. And then mix all of this in. But don't overmix it. Just mix until it's just incorporated. Actually, I don't know if it matters because I'm using gluten-free flour, but you know. Okay, that looks good. I have a greased pan here. I use the skin of the butter to kind of like grease the bottom of the pan. Also, when I melted the butter, I threw a little bit in here. Okay, I think that's everything. So I'm just gonna dump it in. Ooh, this is a lot. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Jiffy. Oh, you know what's the best cornbread? Is the Krusty's corn mix. They also have a gluten-free variety, but it's like $6. It's ridiculous, so <laughs> I made it myself. Spent $20 on all the ingredients to make it my dang self. That was a joke because I have all the ingredients, but you get it. Moving on to the chicken. You guys know I love to use chicken thighs. It was already in this bag. I thawed it out. 
otherwise I would put it into a bowl or whatever. So I'm just gonna add some seasonings. Super simple. Uh, I have honey out, so maybe I'll add that too. That always adds a nice flavor. Okay, so a few pounds of chicken and a few pounds of garlic. A little bit of onion powder too. And then paprika, this is, yep, this is actual paprika. Remember when I kept using cayenne pepper? That was fun. Then some salt and pepper. The recipe calls for one cup of barbecue sauce. So I'm just gonna dump a bunch in here. I have used the uh, barbecue sauce without sugar. Who is it by? It's by like Ray or something, it's not Ray, it is, Who's this by? This is Sweet Baby Ray. I don't know who it's by, but it did taste great. And I can either add brown sugar to this just for fun, but I feel like there's so much sugar in the barbecue sauce, but I'm gonna add a little bit of honey just, just for flavor, just for fun and flavor. And that's it, I'm just gonna, uh, you know, combine everything and get it all coated onto the chicken. And then I'm gonna throw it into my oven because guess what, my oven is already on. I should probably find a vegetable to throw in the oven as well, make it super easy on, on myself. So I'm gonna let this sit because it's not gonna take as long to cook this. So it'll marinate for a little bit while the cornbread is cooking. The time has come. I'm just gonna dump it into a nine by 13 dish and then into the oven with everything else. I also forgot I started mashed potatoes because Meredith asks for mashed potatoes every single night. So I'm just gonna whip these up real quick. I'm also not sure if I told you guys, I figured out the secret to mashed potatoes in the Instant Pot. And you have to cover the potatoes completely with water. Oh, I used to just add one cup and that was not enough. And I cooked mine for, I think 12 minutes. Google said eight, but I never believed Google. I don't know if I explained this to you or not, but Eleanor has had appointments at the allergist and we're introducing dairy back into her diet, hence the uh, dairy. So I'm really excited. I'm using cream cheese in the mashed potatoes again. It's going to be so creamy and dreamy. I did not soften this beforehand because <laughs> have we met? I'm gonna do half a stick. I still did dairy-free butter. I did put that in the microwave just to soften it real quick. Should I do a full stick? Yeah, I'm gonna do a full, let's go full cream cheese here. I really like the Pioneer Woman recipe for mashed potatoes. I'm also going to add some salt and pepper to this. You have to season it and actually probably a little bit more salt. The potatoes can handle it. It's so dark in this little corner, can you even see? Um, I'm going to add some oat milk in here and then blend it up with a little hand mixer and we'll see how smooth it gets. I may have added too much of everything. It's like, uh, it's very thin. And I think just too much milk and I typically blend it up before I add the liquid, but you know, that's life. Oh well, let me give it a taste test. It's still great. I'm gonna try to heat it up. Maybe I'll thicken it up a little bit. I ended up throwing some broccoli in the oven. I already ate Just this me. portion because broccoli straight out of the oven tastes like candy, it's delicious. Yeah. And here is the finished barbecue. I actually cooked it at a Just lower temperature that. than I normally would because I have the cornbread still in there. It is still cooking, so this is ready to eat. I might take a nibble of this. It does look really good and it smells really good too. That is so crazy good. Oh, holy crap, that is so crazy good. And you saw how simple it was. Super moist because, again, chicken thighs, it's very hard to overcook it. Also, it's cooking in all of this juice. And obviously, barbecue sauce has sugar, and who doesn't love sugar? But you could use the barbecue sauce that, uh, I think it either has zero sugar or very, very low sugar content, um, if you are watching out for that. But this is top-notch. 10 out of 10 would recommend and I would make it again. I wonder how it would taste on the grill as well. Okay, so hear me out. We started playing outside and time escaped us. <laughs> Everyone is still outside. I said, oh my gosh, the cornbread. Hopefully on the inside, it looks spectacular. Uh, so I'm gonna let it cool and then I'll cut it and all that good stuff. Here's the cornbread. Oh my gosh, doesn't that just look so thick and scrum diddly umptious? Here's the kicker. Honey, just a sweet little drizzle. All right, I'm gonna take a little taste test. This is like cake, man. This is like dessert. Mm, mm, mm. Even gluten-free, it's delicious. 
Yeah, I could dig that. That's great. Well, that is it. I guess we did a little bit of everything today. A little bit of cooking, a little bit of cleaning, a little bit of organizing, a little bit of hauls, a little bit of hanging out. <laughs> As always, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I always have a good time with you. If you want to, subscribe. Put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.